So, how will you derive an expression for ideal gas equation? Ideal gas equation or this is otherwise called the perfect gas equation. For that, we have to consider three laws. The first one is called the Boyle's law. That is, if you take the volume of a gas, this volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. Volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure provided the temperature and number of moles remains constant. And this law is called the Boyle's law. Boyle's law. And the second law is the Charles law. Charles law. Again, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature T, provided the pressure and number of moles remains constant. Be proportional to T. T means the temperature. And this law is called the Charles law. And the third law is the Avogadro's law. That is, volume of a gas is directly proportional to its number of moles, provided the pressure and temperature remains constant. And this law is called Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law. So, combining these three laws, you can write the volume of a gas is proportional to first one inversely proportional to pressure that that is be proportional to 1 by p times you have you can multiply all these values on the right side t into n or otherwise you can write v proportional to t n divided by p so in order to remove the proportionality you must multiply it with a constant That is V equal to, in order to remove the proportionality, you must multiply with N constant R. R T N divided by P. And this R is called the universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. So, taking this P to the left, you can write P V equal to, you can write the N as the first term nRT and this equation is called the perfect gas equation or ideal gas equation PV equal to nRT where n is the number of moles. Now let's discuss the different forms of ideal gas equation. We have the first form is PV equal to nRT and you know number of moles is always mass of the substance divided by its molecular mass where m is the mass of the substance or mass of the mole mass of the gas divided by its molecular mass and you know volume density is density is equal to mass divided by volume mass of the gas by volume so volume will be mass divided by density and you can you can uh, plug in the values of n and v in the equation so that you get p into instead of v you write mass divided by density is equal to number of moles equal to number of moles is equal to m by m0 mass by molecular mass rt so cancel this m and this m therefore p equal to you can take this row to the left right rho by m0 rt this is another form of ideal gas equation now again take the initial equation that is pv equal to nrt pv is equal to you know number of moles is equal to uh, mass of the gas divided by molecular gas molecular mass of the gas times rt and if you take the mass to the left p is equal to v by m v by m times 1 by m0 rt and if i consider uh, v by m v by m means 
the volume of 1 gram of gas. The volume of 1 gram of gas is equal to V by U. Let's call that as smaller to V. So, this is equal to P into V equal to 1 by M0 RT. And V means volume of volume of 1 gram of the gas volume of 1 gram of the gas so this is another expression now again take this equation that is the initial equation pv equal to nrt you have p into v is equal to we have number of moles is equal to total number of molecules divided by the Avogadro number. Avogadro number means the value 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. This number is called the Avogadro number. So number of moles equal to n by n. So instead of n you can write n by n a. Also this universal gas constant can be represented as the product of Boltzmann's constant Kb and Avogadro number. So here you can write Kb into Na. Then T. Where, where Kb is called the Boltzmann's constant. Boltzmann's constant. So, PV is equal to, you can cancel this NA and NA, PV equal to KBN into T. And this is just another expression for the ideal gas equation. Clear.